Hello Classics friends! This is a tutorial video from Classics Support that will show you how to install Lightboard Mini and all the accessory programs that you need in order to have it correctly running. Make sure that you have your dongle inserted. It can look like this or it can have a white or any other colored label. So always have it inserted and let's start. I have already downloaded and put on my desktop the accessory programs that I need. And these are the LAV filters, the NDI tools and the NewTek video codecs. Install them in this precise order. First the LAV filters, then the tools and last the NewTek codecs. Now let's move on and I have obviously already downloaded the installer of LiveBoard Mini. So here you have it and I will start installation. Go ahead and install all options that the installer will propose you. It is important that you correctly install Java at 64 and 32 bit. Now set up has finished, but I have to make sure that VC Redist is installed. So I will go into the install folder and open it and install it manually. Actually, also VC Redist has a 64 and 32 bit version. Please install them both. If setup fails, such as in my example, it means that you already have it correctly installed or you have a more up to date version running, which means that you are fine. Okay, now we can go into the distribution and see where we have the installation. Go to this PC and into the C drive. Here you're going to find Classics Applications underscore V6. Here you have all your Classics applications together. Liveboard Mini is in its folder. We will now create a shortcut to the desktop of Liveboard Mini at 64 bits. By right clicking and sending it to the desktop as a shortcut. So I have here my Liveboard Mini at 64 bit and now I have to insert the licenses before the first start. So I open the text file that tells me what my serial code and password is. Make sure you have this before starting. So I run as administrator. And my registration window pops up. Please make sure you select a USB and fill in your credentials. And a working email. Copy and paste serial code and passwords. Make sure it's all correct. Confirm registration. So this is Lifeboard Mini. It will pop up with uh, the VGA screen open. Anyway, we are going to set now the correct output device by going into Preferences, Video, and you're going to select your output device driver. In my case, I'm selecting NDI because I want to stream out in NDI and my resolution, the one th that we use here. So there we are. Now I can get started. <laughs> 